Cosmo World. What a surprise! The next one's gonna be Reggie Rock. Uh, yes, we have Reggie Ice and Reggie Rock. You never guess what the other one is. Um, so yeah, we have a group cosplay, and we're hoping to get this done for uh, Anime Milwaukee. Yes, that's like the curtain goal. Um, money and timing. Is see if that works out. We'll see if we have money in time. Anyway, we're working on these. Make sure they're done and kind of out of my house. At least. Uh, Reggie Rock is, is gonna go with Jax and Reggie Ice is gonna go with Renee and they're going to live in their homes and I'm just going to have to deal with Reggie Steel which I kind of still don't have a plan for as far as storage is concerned. Um, now these are pretty big costumes, some of which I think that the outer diameter on, Reg on the, the Reggies are around like four feet. These are like not I don't know how big the Reggies are in, in canon, but they're they're these things are pretty big. They're like I think Reggie Rock's shoulder bits are up to like seven foot up there. Yeah. Um so yeah, Jax, this one's for Jax, and he's been uh carving and shaping these bits out here. Um it is actually pretty all these Reggies are pretty easy, uh in like theory. It's just they're so ridiculously big that uh we uh, it's, it's gonna take time. Um, we're for most of these, we're g uh, gonna stick to uh, styrofoam because uh, the XBF foam that the pink phone was using for Reggie Ice is way, way, way more expensive. These are like ten, eleven dollars per sheet, and we're gonna need a lot of volume for these for these uh, Reggies. Um, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of shavings there. Um, uh, because uh. Reggie steel is a lot of rings. Uh, Reggie rock is actually made from uh, as much of the leftover circular bits as possible so that we can use all of it. And I'm pretty happy with how we're, we've been able to do, we've been able to get the most out of this so far. Um, <clears throat> but that main check, uh, chest section there for Reggie rock is proving to be a problem. Uh, it has like a top sh shoulder section that uh, is fairly easy to layer up and do the cake method, but um, then we've got the front and back panel which we've got to somehow fit Jackson in and it's kind of giving us problems as to filling it and mounting it very uh, in, in a way that's pretty strong and that he could still get in and out of it. And Jax, pull up your pants, God damn it! Um, so yeah, Jax comes over uh, every other weekend to come and help us work with this stuff and we'll hopefully get some more updates and we'll uh, schedule some more stuff with him. Unfortunately, like, it's the Christmas New Year scenario right now and we have various events we're going to go to and that's usually held over the weekend and that's probably gonna hold us up for a little bit. So maybe not so many um, updates on the Reggies until we figure that out. Um, but they're fairly easy, and we have you know some coding on most on some of the parts done, and we'll we'll get this done. I, I'm I'm confident in this mostly, <laughs> mostly. Uh, but it for a starting project, I think this is good for Jax. He's never done like a big mech before, and uh, I think it's a good learning tool because. Generally, for most of Reggie Rock's parts, you don't have to be really specific about it. Um, as long as you got the general shape and it looks like a rock, then we're good. And even the coating meth, like the coating on the outside of it, we're just using um, plaster of Paris. Uh, it's you can be pretty sloppy about it. Uh, there are things I definitely want to re-sand, um, like uh, like on the feet you saw there, two different colors and like a little bit more blotchy. Um, but once we got paint on it, it'll be good. Um, Joanne had a um, Black Friday uh, sale, and man, did I buy like 14 bottles of the big bottles of paint uh, just so that uh, we have those on hand. And then uh, for the first time, I spotted uh, the uh, Delta. I buy Delta brand paint. I don't buy Apple Barrel or Folk Art. Um, not a Wow, you guys know that. You know I'm not a fan of those. I'm, I'm a Delta. I'm a Delta fan. Uh, anyway, Delta had a big old bottle of silver, and I grabbed myself two of them. I would have gone for three, but I'm a little worried that if I went for three, that third one would kind of dry up before I use it fully. 
um, but with the Reggie Steel, I'm pretty sure I'll get through a good portion of those bottles because it's the whole big old spear of paint. Um, but I definitely uh, tried to work with the Black Friday deals to get a, a good deal on things. I also got to grab some EVA foam, some graph foam there. Um, oh yeah, just as an update, <laughs> here you see I've been working on the Gladius uh, as well. These are the arms and the upper arms and lower arm section. Uh, I'm, well, I'm going with the kind of elbow pauldrons bits uh, being EVA foam just to have a little bit more flexibility, it's more comfortable. Um, whereas the uh, lower arm is uh, the lower and upper arm sections are going to have uh, what is it some EVA foam uh, not all of them not all of it though I'm not quite done with it I'm looking at the reference art here and trying to figure out what part of this is armor and what part of it's like fabric because it is kind of hard to tell in spots um, I could be adding in some uh, EVA foam underneath these uh, with a design or that will transition to the material uh, one thing I should have bought, dang, I completely forgot, um, and, uh, is the fabric. It has like this off-center like brick pattern uh, material, this leather material for the base of the armor. And I'm going to have to do some research and see if I find that. Because it's going to be kind of important to have uh, the, not just armor but like the cloth sections. Uh, I also have not gotten the chain bits on him and then uh, some of the accessories as well. I need to figure out a plan for that without spending a bazillion dollars. Okay, I'm hoping I'm hoping here to have this uh, Gladius kind of done and ready for a test, uh, test go at Anime Milwaukee. I'm not going to compete with it. I think I might compete with it at... ShudoCon. I don't have an award for ShudoCon, but I love one. Um, ShudoCon has a pretty good masquerade. Um, it's not as strong as, say, uh, Daishokans or Anime Centrals, but it's pretty good. And it's a lot of cosplayers I haven't seen before, so I kind of want to get that little badge of honor added to my list of uh, awards I've won. And I think that Gladius would be a really strong contender if I entered it in um, Shudokan's cosplay contest. Uh, yeah, that's my goal is to kind of test it out at Anime Milwaukee, uh, make it break, figure out what's wrong with it, and then come back with a piece uh, or an armor that's much more, uh, much better made for Shudokan. Uh, and uh, the Reggies, maybe we'll enter those for um, Anime Milwaukee. We'll see how Jax feels about that, but it could just be a fun thing to walk across stage. Oh my god, how are we going to get stuff across stage? Okay. Maybe we'll figure that out at the convention <laughs> and how we're going to get these things um, through that whole mess. Oh well. Um, <clears throat> additionally, I have an old knives I want to get ready. We'll get more on that later, but I just so many projects, guys. So many projects. Thanks for watching. Good times to all. Hurrah! Listen, I got cosplay tutorials, con coverage, and general cosplay fun. Why don't you stick around a bit?